what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more dark reactions we are here once again to enjoy this particular show that i'm enjoying very much so now you know what i'm saying i'm really enjoying watching dark man four episodes in and the mystery just the mystery alone behind this nothing really has been revealed yet and i'm so like into it you know what i'm saying because i want to know i want to know i want to know i want to know <laughs> you know but they keep you so intrigued in the mystery of the show because you want to know what's happening what's really happening why is the time from before connected to the time today who has this time machine is it the people in 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 the power plant what is going on so many questions and I think they're taking their time to reveal the answers. I don't even think at the end of the season we're really going to know what's going on. But I'm here for it. I'm ready to know what's next in these next couple of episodes. Episodes 5 and 6. So let's just dive into it, man. You already know. Hit that like button. And if you guys have, have not already signed up for memberships on the channel, please consider doing so. I would appreciate it very much so. This plenty for you to choose from of what you would want to do for the channel if you just want to support you can sign up for 99 cents it's not that hard man it's not that hard it's not that it's not a lot of money it's not a lot of money not asking for much it's just that i gave up a lot for <laughs> i gave up a lot to do this stuff for you guys full time to give you guys consistent content on the channel um and also to be home with my boo okay so just want you guys to to um to know that i'm not trying to guilt you guys into doing anything it's still up to you if you guys want to do want want to do it or not i'm not gonna love you any less not gonna hate you anymore <laughs> just kidding man anyway so no love lost guys if you can't do it it's okay all i'm asking is you consider doing it if you can afford to do so support your boy because you know what i'm saying need to make up for all this lost income that i that i <laughs> that i gave up to stay home with my girl my girl encouraged me to do um content creation full time and just do others just continue with the online stuff that i do and all that stuff that i had to leave my house to do to give it up okay because who knows when she's gonna be back on her feet and be able to do stuff again i don't know but she's still recovering so i'm just here so i'm not trying to tell you guys a sappy story so you feel sorry for me okay it's still up to you guys what you want to do appreciate y'all and i will catch you guys for the review bruh yo let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. This show is fire. This show is fire. I don't really know much yet. <laughs> but this show is fire. Um, this reminds me so much of how... Um, even though this is not in the horror genre. It reminds me so much of old school horror. Where there's a lot of mystery... You don't really know who's menacing behind the corners. You know what I mean? Like, you're scared, but you don't know why you're scared. You you just see people getting dragged off in the corners, and you don't understand what's going on because it's like, you know what I mean? This story is so intriguing, I still want to know more. For them to reveal that... Jonas's or Jonas, whatever they call him, his dad was actually Mikkel that renamed himself Michael. That was mind blowing because that was the furthest thing from my mind of who Jonas's dad was, right? If I, if I was supposed to sit down here, it would take me, even though we're just six episodes in, it would take me a while to even explain to you what happened in those six episodes. It's that 
complex, but yet so good, such a good flow to writing, such a good flow to creating mystery. It's like the boogeyman behind the curtain. And when you look behind the curtain, he's not there. You know what I mean? Like the stuff that you want to be revealing is still so much mysterious, even though we've kind of figured out a big piece of the puzzle, like how the time travel is happening. We don't know why is this tunnel? Why is it in existence in the first place? You get what I'm trying to say? Is it just about this town? You get what I'm saying? How does this tunnel be basically is a time machine in itself? How did was this created? Who created it? You get what I'm saying? Does this just exist in this town or is this a worldwide thing? So many questions to be asked, you know, and the thing about the thing that I love about the structure of the show so much, I mean, not only is this one of my favorite genres in anything and this is like the first time something like this has been suggested on the channel something about time and stuff like that please don't spam the comments now with time travel suggestions because now you find that about about me t because um when it comes when it comes on to time travel it never makes my top five because i've never i think this one might make my top five TV shows of all time. And I'm not even through it yet. Not even through season one yet. And the reason why is because it's the best time travel TV show that I've watched. I'm not going to go as far to say it's the best movie, but the best TV show concerning TV show. And I've watched a lot of TV show time travel shows. You get what I'm saying? This is definitely going in my top five TV shows that I hold in very high regard. And I'm not through it yet. Now, if they right now, it's in my top five. I don't know what they're going to do for season two and season three, because I have not gotten to those yet. But my God, are they impressing me in season one? Right now, without a doubt, I can tell you that this is in my top five. And it's only in my top five because of the genre that I, because it's a genre that I love and they're doing it exquisitely well. I mean, when you talk about stories set in the mood and, uh, you know, you hear me talk about um, there's so little dialogue in this show that when people speak, you really got to. I'm saying what you saying, bro? What you saying? You know what I'm saying? There's very little everybody that speaks in the show, they don't have a lot to say. And when they do speak, if they're having a conversation or, or if they're just talking about something in general, you know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of words. It's not a monologue. You know what I'm saying? It's not constant dialogue. Most of the show is all visual. That's what makes it so intriguing because to keep my attention, you, you got to keep talking. This is probably the first show with this much visual stuff that has kept me engaged for this long with very little dialogue. You get what I'm saying? The first show, I'm not, I'm not even going to kill you because most more, you guys know how important dialogue is to me in any TV show that I watch. I listen and I analyze. So if you're not, if the dialogue is not meshing with the visuals, you get what I'm saying? It's not really that important to me. So for a show to come out and be basically 90% visual and to keep my attention like this with no you know what I'm saying? And for me to be this intrigued, I have to, I have to put it in my top five right now. He's, he's going to hold down that fifth spot. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I don't know if he's going to move higher than that because you know what I'm saying? The, the stuff in my top five is, is hard to beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's hard to beat, you know, but I'm going to be like, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm loving this right now. I'm loving this right now, man. 
yo that was a mind-blowing moment man and now jonas has traveled back to the past you know what i'm saying he that shit i would have reacted the same i'd be like shit I can't be meeting my mom's when she a teenager now. That's not cool. <laughs> I'd be like, I would have backed up too. You know what I'm saying? We found out how much of a savage Hannah was just because she was in love with Ulrich, what she did. Yo, that's some grimy shit, man. That's some grimy shit right there, Where what she did. Accusing the dude of rape, and he didn't rape nobody. That's not cool, but I still want to know what happened to her. To the girl though i'm wondering if i'm getting them mixed up i'm wondering if it's not the girl that he slept with that had the bruises but it was um regina i'm wondering if that was regina um i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna let me know do not spoil anything please in the comment section because if you've watched the show already don't spoil anything for me please i'm begging you because this is the kind of show that I want to have the most natural reaction to when it comes on to when things are revealed. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this show. I don't want to be spoiled. Please do not do that. You guys have been doing well. I don't even have to really have moderators. There's a couple of moderators on the channel that's not even really there anymore. I need to actually make some new people um, moderators on the channel. I really do need to do that. Um, but everybody's been doing good on the channel so far. Um, I haven't been spoiled on any shows in, in very recent memory. So I have to give you guys props for that. But anyways, just remember to not make the mistake. Cause sometimes people do make mistakes and put spoiler stuff in the comment section. Um, just understand that while you're watching this, just know that because I'm reacting to this the week before it goes up for early access so i just want you guys to know that okay so don't think that i'm too far in because right now when you're watching it i'm probably just in season two so just don't spoil nothing for me that comes further than that okay thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all um and of course leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys next time peace